Hey, good morning, everybody. It's October 26th, 2021, up here in the Big Bear area. And this is the snow aftermath, or the rain and snow aftermath. I know, I'm, I'm strange. I, I do like these aftermath videos every time. Um, I'm, I'm explaining it because I've, I've noticed there's like growing subscribers quick. This is crazy. Like, I don't know what's happening. It's like 50 in the past three days. Like, this is crazy. But anyway, um, thank you guys. Thank you guys. But yeah, so this is my regular aftermath video, you guys. Typically, we have snow. Um, or typically it's after a snowstorm that we're doing aftermath videos because that's the only time we get storms this time of year. And, um, and typically they end with snow. But look, there's snow summit up there. We're gonna drive completely around the lake so you guys can uh, see what it looks like over in Fonskin today as well in our good friend Linda's area. Hey, Linda. Of it. The very top has a, a, a couple inches, it looked like. That's pretty cool. Yeah, right now it's 45 degrees, you all. And uh, let's see here. It's 11.40 in the morning. Not a cloud in the sky. Just a gorgeous day. Imagine what it would have been like, guys, if all this rain that we got was snow and then how beautiful this bluebird day would be. Oh my gosh. I know a ton of you are super stoked to come up here soon and start skiing and snowboarding. I'm happy for you guys. Um, yeah, I, I, I mean, seriously, I want every single one of you, because I love you guys so much, I want all of you to win the lottery and, uh, and like literally like have the best health that you can possibly have, the best health care you can possibly have. Um, I wish you no turmoil in your lives. Um, for all my boys out there who are single, I wish you, you're, you're, you know, you get some. <laughs> and uh, um, and for all my ladies, I hope you have a good man out there. I really do. I, I, I just I just can't believe how special you guys are to me. Like, what a crazy blessing you guys have been out of this whole thing. I never ever imagined that I would have gained you guys out of this. It's incredible. Hang on a second. Sorry, you guys. Had to take that text message. Oh, I had to take the text. And I wanted to also thank uh, quite a few of you for, uh, I mean, guys, like, <laughs> you guys do so much for me. For instance, quite a few of you on the live feed and stuff like that were, like, asking people to, like, hit thumbs up and stuff like that guys like that is so sweet of you guys like that is so nice of you guys like uh just so all of you know like uh i've never asked anyone to hit subscribe or the like button because for me it's this has been a passion of mine i've done this for seven years almost three thousand videos you guys and uh um i just don't want it to change i just want to keep on doing this how i do it and um yeah so just uh Thank you guys. Thank you for trying to like support me like that and stuff. But I don't want you to feel bad if I don't have a lot of subscribers or if I get thumbs down and stuff. All the thumbs down guys, that's all. Those are those are personal beefs. And one of those many thumbs down is one person who created multiple accounts. I know who it is. Um, and you know what? Like if I was trying to build a business, like I would have a talking to with them, but I don't care. Like it's in a weird way it's like kind of flattering to have a stalker like this every video every video you guys this is a grown person a grown man so yeah so but don't worry about it guys i really appreciate the fact that you want to see my channel grow or our channel grow like that means that's crazy to me that you guys love me that much but i want you guys to know that's not my goal here i'm not trying to grow um what I'm trying to do is just have a very beautiful, safe place for all of us to hang out together. I, I, ch I cherish you guys, and uh, thank you guys for all your love, all your all your honesty and kindness with me, and uh, just how you guys go above and beyond, just to try to put a smile on my face and bring me a, a happier life. Like I, I can't even begin to thank you guys. Or, 
at least in words. And sorry, I had a burp. I had to burp, and so I was, I was having some air issues right there for a minute. <laughs> um, wait, why am I going over here? We're going over towards like the the two and ten. I need to turn around because we got to go around the lake. Hang on, let me turn around. All right, sorry guys. I thought I had turned it on when we went around uh, that little turn back there, but I didn't hit the record button. Anyway, I'm wishing this was one of the really crazy cool aftermaths where there's snow everywhere. Um, this year I'm going to use the drone, I think, a, a lot more. I know I'm saying that now, but then when the time comes, it's probably it's going to be so cold, there's going to be so much snow, and then I'm going to wimp out. Guys, I'm not going to wimp out for you guys. I'm not going to wimp out. I'm going to do that. I have the Mavic 2 Pro um, it from DJI or something like that. The DJI Mavic 2 and uh, I'm telling you guys, it is so easy to fly. It is so easy to fly. What I've learned is that the more expensive the drone is, the easier it is to fly and the less chance that you're gonna have an accident with it. Because there's so many safety features built into it and so many different sensors that like you can't crash it if you tried. Honestly, I can't fly it into a wall or a tree Unless I turn it on to sport mode. <laughs> sport mode. <laughs> sport mode, guys. Not, but seriously, on a serious side, sport mode is pretty, uh, pretty epic. You can fly as, as high as it'll let you go. Um, I know there's a, there's a way, and I'm not too savvy when it comes to computers, but I know there's a way to go into the Mavic 2 and adjust some of the some of the the factory set settings, um, like the ones that have like a maximum altitude that it'll let you fly. It's it's like a governor for your altitude and stuff like that. Um, but you can and DJI doesn't teach you how. Like I found it on like YouTube. There's like ways to like reprogram your drone to where you can literally fly it like two miles high. <laughs> Seriously. Um, Oh my gosh, look at these freaking people, man. God, man. They're always working on the road in the middle of the day, man. In the middle of the freaking work day, always. They they can't do this stuff at nighttime. I'm just so confused. I'm just so confused. I never knew we could get out. Well, unfortunately, we can't get out to the left. We gotta go back. So I don't think we're gonna be let um, out to that side. That's ridiculous. And then this guy's flying in this neighborhood. Look, look, dude, I understand you're frustrated that we just got turned around and have to drive a long way back, but geez, thank God this isn't snow everywhere because there'd probably be more children up here playing around and stuff like that. I can't believe this, but guys, this is a really cool area over here. We're right next to the lake. One of my buddies lives in these nice condos straight ahead. I would be stoked to live here. That would be nice. And the lake's right there. Look, okay, let's see. Right left there. This sucks, guys. So I'm going to keep it on. We're just going to go around the other way. Dude, look at the detours taking us completely around the lake. What a Barney. Like seriously, and I'm referring to like the way this town is run. Just what Barney's, just what total Barney's, you guys. So I guess they don't realize that like there are actually people up here who put a lot of effort into life and have a, a like a like a lot of work to do. Um, and when your work is driving around a lot, not just this, guys. Um, when your work's driving around a lot, it's very frustrating. And sometimes I come out with a little sarcasm like right now when I'm frustrated like that. Um, I'm not a jerk. I'm really not. I'm just I'm just quite frustrated. When I lived down the mountain all my life, um, I remember on the main roads, when they had to work on them, they were mainly doing the bulky stuff at, like after midnight with spotlights out there and everything. And in most cases, it looked brighter than when the sun was out. So I just don't understand why they can't do this stuff at night. And I know I complain about this often, you guys. I know I do, so forgive me. But, uh, 
yeah, so, oh man, that's, that's a bummer, that's a bummer, that's just a bummer. And there were no signs going all the way that way that mentioned the road closed. That's how they do it up here. You'll drive 15, 20 minutes and then they'll turn you around without any warnings. But on a positive note, at least it's a gorgeous day. Okay, so here's Little Magic Mountain. It's our little uh, like sledding and bobsled park. We've got a new bobsledding roller coaster right here. And a lot of people enjoy it. I, I actually have it on video here. POV video. It's really fun, it's really fast. It's a lot faster than I anticipated. why I wanted to go around the lake guys is so you, you guys can get the beautiful view across the lake of the mountains right after we've had precipitation because the sky is so clear so no matter what we're still going to do it but since we already drove through all of this part of town we're just going to shut it off right now and once we get over towards Stanfield cutoff we'll turn it back on oh look at all this trash man jeez all right guys we'll see you soon Okay, so we just passed Moon Ridge Road, which is where we would have been turning right, right there, to go around the lake, so we're gonna go around this direction. Oh, look at that chopper. Look at the chopper. Get down. Wow. My Arnold impression is horrible today. Can you guys see it? Let's see here. It looks like a military style chopper, but I don't know. Sure. But yeah guys there's zero snow in town <clears throat> last night's video where i went to go find snow I'm telling you guys it was so crazy how it was like 150 to 200 feet above the elevation of my place i mean it was it was literally like right across one street everything on the ground was white just barely just barely but everything was white all the roofs were white and then on the other side of the street everything was dry there was no snow anywhere it was so cool the way mother nature made that work absolutely so cool so i hope you guys enjoyed that i know it wasn't the most interesting video but stuff like that's really really cool or literally like just a hundred and something feet higher it's snow so yeah all of big bear for the most part didn't get anything but then as soon as you go up in the higher elevations by 200 feet everything has snow it's just so cool i haven't seen the snow line that close since i've lived here that's the that's the closest that we've literally been on the snow line like that was the snow line basically well obviously So I'm excited to get these views from North Shore looking across the lake. It's gonna be beautiful, you guys. And right here on Stanfield Cutoff, this view to the left is gonna be unreal as well because of how clear it should be because of all the rain. And we didn't get that much rain, you guys, believe it or not. Look at how clear it is. You can see, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. 
Guys, I can see color on the trees at the other side of the lake. Are you kidding me? I can see buildings and houses. You can never see that far, you guys. Holy moly. Guys, I wish we were driving down the mountain today. I really do. So we could get a nice view from 6,000 feet up. So check it out. When you guys are driving up Highway 330 on the front, of the mountain range and it's all those turns and just really high drops high cliffs and stuff that scare a lot of people when you're basically in running springs most of running springs is like 6,000 to 6,500 in elevation so when you're looking down from running springs when you're when you're looking at at San Bernardino and Redlands and all those areas San Bernardino is already about 1,200 to feet up to 1500 at points as you get closer to the mountain so my whole point is when you're looking down from from 6,000 feet you're not seeing 6,000 feet down you're only looking down about 5,000 feet because uh, when you're at, at at the bottom that's the that's where sea level well you're 1200 feet above sea level at the base of the mountain um, and then it's even more <clears throat> of a magnified type of a Dude, I don't even know what the hell I'm saying right now. On the back side, when you're looking down into the desert from up here at 7,000 feet, 6,750 feet, whatever, 7,000 feet. When you're looking down, you're looking down at some parts that are like 3,000 to 3,500 feet up in the desert, not like, like mountaintops. So it doesn't seem like we're nearly as high up when you're driving down the back side. It still looks like we're way up here, but it doesn't feel nearly like it does on the front where it's just like white knuckle driving it, terrified. Um, I'm telling you guys, man. Yeah, I loved coming up here. It was the best time of my life, coming up to Lake Arrowhead to my mom's vacation place. But one thing that was always really awful was uh, the drive. I was always so scared, because my mom was always so scared. So um, I always, was, yeah, I was, was always worried about falling off the road and tumbling down. Are you kidding me? They're not gonna let us go go right or left? Oh yes, they are. Yeah. And then uh, every time I see that VCA, I want to tell you guys like, please do what you can to avoid that place. Please. When you bring your pets up here, obviously do your research on where a good vet is. Because I don't want you guys to ever have any stressful situations with your pets. Because my pets mean more to me than humans. So I don't want you guys to have any situations. Look at this view. There's snow summit with snow. I want you guys to research all the different veterinary spots in the mountain range. There's not that many in Big Bear, you guys. And that place, I will not take my cat to ever again. But it's really important when you guys come up here because things happen. We have snakes up here, we have coyotes, we have lots of stuff up here and your, your, your pets could get sick or something. So I just want you guys to have a really safe place and a place that you feel comfortable taking your pet. I would not take your pet there. Like they didn't even listen to what I was saying was wrong with him. And then they gave me, tried to give me or sell me a prescription for something that had nothing to do with what was going on. Uh, it, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah. But thank God my cat's okay. And he didn't need their help. He got better by himself, but um, yeah. So Lake Arrowhead Animal Hospital seems like they have a terrific reputation. Um, unfortunately, also in Big Bear, you guys, um, they don't think animals get sick on Saturdays or Sundays, so you can't have like emergency services or have your pet looked at on the weekends at all. Um, because yeah, pets, pets don't get sick on Saturdays and Sundays, guys. Just wanted you guys to know that that's how we feel up here. So, um, so I have to know where these emergency vet spots are, and most of them are like an hour drive at least, and that's for me driving super fast up and down the mountain. So just because I love animals so much, you guys, it's very important to me that you guys please, please 
stay away from that place. And then they tried to charge me for the medication that I didn't even pick up. I had to like argue with them. <laughs> like it, it was, yeah, yeah, just, just nuts. When it comes to my pets, guys, I, I go a little crazy. There's a cop back there. I hope I'm. I'm not, no, I'm no, I'm not speeding. I'm going 43 miles an hour. Okay, I'm not speeding. Guys, we're gonna roll down my window because the view is just so much better with the window down. I know this isn't much of a view at the moment, but this is North Shore driving towards Fonskin. Here's the Fonskin sign, one of the Fonskin signs. <clears throat> Elevation, 6,750 feet. sure how that works I am a very horrible tour guide <laughs> when it comes to stuff like that but someday we'll have our own little tourist company up here guys we'll have everything we're, we're gonna have an all-in-one type of a type of a, a deal up here like uh, like a bed and breakfast type thing with uh, um, just loads of activities just like in, 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 in Step Brothers. we can do so many activities with all this extra room um, so yeah, we can do a lot of activities. Wow, that, these houses are right on the lake. I want to stay in one so bad. Just, just the, just the feeling of like just waking up, being on this lake would just be beautiful. But yeah, what was I just saying before that? What was I just saying before that? Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! I forgot. I think it was about like camping and stuff like that. Yeah, it's it's not. Uh, it's not difficult to camp up here, but I know you have to pay in a lot of spots. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh. I know you gotta pay. And from what I've heard, a lot of these spots for camping and parking your cars for the, the, the overnight outdoor experience are actually really nice, you guys. Big Bear has so much beauty to it and so much going for it. ourselves in the foot sometimes I'm telling you guys when I run for some position for the city Big Bear Lake or Big Bear City seriously like my only motives are to make this place better so more people want to come up here as much as I like how it's kept a, a small little town um, and it's really hard for this town to get much bigger there's not much land to make it that much bigger so um, that, Regarding this place being uh, so, so, hold on, sorry guys, I'm, I'm focusing on something else on the left side. Hang on. What is that? In my rear view mirror, but on on the left side of, of, of this guy's car, there's like something popping out of it. It looked like he was driving with his door opened. Just give me a second, guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying to focus on that just to see what's going on. Is he beating somebody and they're trying to escape the car? Like, I, I have to make sure that everyone's okay. That is so weird. What, what are you doing, buddy? Yeah, but, okay, so, yeah, it was his car door. He shut it. Um, yeah. <laughs> that, that was funny. Um, guys, I lose my train of thought a lot, especially when things capture my attention like that little deal dude um what was i talking about seriously guys oh my gosh i feel like that guy beetlejuice on those commercials where they're like frying an egg and and, and, they're, and they're like this is this is your brain and then they fry the egg this is your brain on drugs <laughs> um that, that wasn't too funny actually but yeah when i do run 
for something up here eventually. My only motives are to bring a little bit more into this town. Um, I, I'd i like a lot of your guys' feedback on this for those five of you who've watched this far through. Um, give me some feedback on, on what you think um, of some of my ideas, which I know some, some people don't necessarily love them, but a lot of people absolutely love them. Like the positivity outweighs the negative reactions big time. But what I wanted to do guys, and I know a lot of people are worried about some of the charm of this town being um, taken away, but I feel like what I'm gonna do would, would add charm to this place. Um, I'd like to have contracted up here in association with our resorts and also our lake sports, have a five-star resort Have like one five-star resort up here guys with with a gondola that goes like like from the from the lake because I'd like the hotel to be on the lake so it'll go from the lake all the way to the top of snow summit a five-star gondola just like I've ridden at Vail um, and I know Mammoth has a killer gondola um, so I want to do something like that and then even though our town doesn't like to bring in big name spots. Unfortunately, um, I'd like some of the bigger name stuff like a Nordstrom or, um, or just, just something, something that we don't get down or up here. That's really nice down the hill. That's what I want up here. Um, one of you guys said a Costco. I thought, geez, that would be awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's what I want to do, guys, is I want to be able to provide an experience for our guests who come up to Big Bear um, in a much greater way, in a much greater way. Um, we offer a lot of lodging. We offer a lot of amenities, but they're all pretty similar. Like, there's, like, nothing that, like, really stands out. And I really wanted to have something that you guys could be proud of and feel like you're at Aspen, Colorado, or actually what I've wanted to do to this place is turn it into a mini South Lake Tahoe. That's what I want to do. Turn it into a mini South Lake Tahoe. And some people are not thrilled with that. Other people think it's the best idea ever. Because guys, this place has so much potential, but apparently it's the people that run this place, which I'm sure are wonderful people, you guys. I'm sure they really are, but they don't want any change. They don't let any big brands up here, um, except for the cheesiest of them all. With all due respect, like Kmart and stuff, like, like that's like, come on, man. We're a vacation destination for like, for every everybody from like, from Compton to Beverly Hills, like from for everybody. And it'd be nice if some people that want to splurge a little bit more have that option to stay in a much nicer place, being all all catered, everything catered. Like that would be awesome. Look at this. Look at the snow on top of San, San, San Gorgonio, way in the back. But yeah. And guys, I am grateful for this town and everything that we do have. Um, and and I know I hold us accountable all the time, but we do we do things in a lot of ways very well. And er, everywhere has room for improvement. Okay, um, it's just since I love you guys to death, I don't want anything. I don't want you guys to ever have to deal with anything that I could have helped you avoid. Learn from me and enjoy your vacations. I don't want you guys wasting your time dealing with just semantics and arbitrary BS. I will be here for you guys to answer any questions you have. And I'm always happy to, especially when you guys are up here, I'm always happy to. I want you guys to feel comfortable and really enjoy your time here because you guys work hard and you guys deserve it. I mean, dude, I'm seriously in love with all you guys. All you, all you people are just absolutely holding a huge place in my heart. And I 
want you guys to not only have a smile driving up here, but when you guys get here, I want you to be like that much happier as well. I'd like to try to to figure out something for for the traffic, uh, maybe some some sort of a better public transportation system. Even though ours is pretty good, uh, yeah, guys, it, there's a lot that I want to suggest for the town. And, it's not like I'm just throwing stuff out there. I've I put a lot of thought into it, what some of the pros are, what some of the cons would be, um, what's gonna inevitably happen because of that. Like, like, like there's gonna be a lot of changes in this town because of that. Just like right now, a bunch of the locals guys who have lived here for so many years of their lives have been kicked out of their houses just recently and they can't afford anywhere else to live up here uh, because there's nowhere to live and now they're all living down the mountain. Um, a lot of the full-time workers up here are now living down the mountain and driving up here every day for work because the Airbnb scene has taken over big time up here and all the owners have been booting out their tenants and doing Airbnb. And I feel so bad for all my friends up here who, whose lives have been completely uprooted it, it, it makes me really sad, but I am a capitalist through and through. And so on one hand, I'm, I'm happy for the people making money, but I'm more sad for my friends who don't have any place. That's horrible, but that's what's going on up here right now, you guys. There's nothing available for rent unless you want to spend like 2,500 to, to 3,000 a month. And there might only be like one place available. It's difficult, you guys. Look, we made it around the lake, here's the dam. And there's a cop. Hey. Guys, that CHP officer was the nicest person ever. I wanted him to be on video, but I probably would've got a ticket. So we got turned around again. So imagine people, you live in Fonskin and you wanna to go to Big Bear and you're driving all this way. There's no signs that say the road is completely shut down. So yeah, there's no way into the main part of town unless you come through this part of town this part of town and it's this part of town you guys I hope this isn't gonna bore you but this is a different perspective this is the original view that I wanted us to take on the on the original drive today so look we're gonna go really slow so we can get all the beautiful oh my gosh look at look at the views from the lake on this side this is what it's all about This is absolutely so gorgeous. I mean, look at this view when you're driving straight ahead. Look at, look at that. Holy moly. I love this so much. But yeah, you guys, what do you guys think about that? About uh, me eventually running for office up here? Oh, watch out, Chipmunk. And yes, I understand people get corrupted in politics. I get that. And that's a big fear. Not that I would succumb to the, any type of corruption tactics, but I'm just saying that uh, I think most people, if not everyone who gets into politics, most of them do it for the right reasons. Because they wanna help people and make their community better. But then every time once they get elected, money becomes a huge factor and it's more money than anybody's ever seen and they have access to it and it begins to corrupt people. Money corrupts. An absolute corruption corrupts money. <laughs> oh, we're, we're gonna let these guys go by. See, since I'm going slow today, we're gonna let these guys go right by. Oh, look at this little marina, North Shore Landing. Guys, look at, look at where I live. Are you kidding me? Do I really live here? We really live here. Since we're 
we're going so oh I gotta pull over again. Dang it man. Dang it, dang it, dang it, Janet. Dang it, dang it. Oh, this is a nice little dock or something coming up here. Oh look, a few gazebos down here. What is going on? That is awesome. Guys, this these properties have their own docks and gazebos, and these are the properties. How cool is that? How freaking cool is that, guys? I think it's freaking cool, man. Alright. So yeah, uh as I said, since we are going a different direction, but taking the same road, it's a completely different perspective right here. So let's uh let's uh enjoy it. You're not getting to drive by Boulder Bay at the moment, but that's okay. Uh, you, it's closed, so you're gonna have to follow this route. Wow, look at those two birds! Oh no, those are two helicopters. I thought they were two birds. We're gonna slow down because. Look at, look at, look at, hang on, hang on. See them? I think they're gonna pick up water. I think they're practicing. Wow, that is so cool. Look at those things. Wow. Guys, that was so cool. We got the two choppers. Get down. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's not good. I used to do it better. All right, hang tight, guys. Look at, oh my gosh, guys. We got another huge marina right here. But it's empty, my friend. It's empty again. My friend, my friend, my friend. Okay, guys, hang tight. I got to respond to it. Okay. So we just left Dwayne. Boyer, I think it said. That was his uh, his, his launch area. So yeah, this is, why North Shore is so great though, guys. And it's a, a cool little drive. That's what we're driving on right now, Highway 38, AKA North Shore, because of this view. And once our lake is full permanently, I think in 2024, due to the lake, due to the lake replenishment program, we're gonna be good. This water is going to come all the way up to the bottom of these houses and it's going to be awesome. So hang on guys, I'm going to shut it off right now so we're not just waiting here. I freaking love you guys. Alright, we are off like a prom dress. Let's do this. Let's do this. And then guys, I'm going to focus the camera over here. If you guys see any signs that say like maximum occupancy, let me know because we want to rent one of these places like yesterday. Oh, there's one right there. Oh my gosh, there's one right there. <laughs> We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. It's probably gonna be like a thousand a night, so we'll probably only be able to stay for an hour. <laughs> but I think that'll be great and it'll be fun and fantastic. And then here's like a really nice place right on the corner. This place has the most epic view of all the lake homes in all of Big Bear, guys. Look at how nice the house is too, but look at how it's on the corner right there. Oh my gosh. That's incredible, man. That's incredible, man. It's totally incredible, bro. Donnie Montana's just totally incredible, man. I love Donnie Montana. Anyway, this is a uh, part of the town that's usually underwater, but it hasn't been since I've lived here. But we are going to be having a full lake in the next few years, guys, due to the lake replenishment program. So it, they are going to go through with it. Basically, all of our wastewater, all of our pee and poop, they're cleaning it and putting it into the lake. So that's how you guys are going to enjoy a full lake up here. It's not going to be called Big Bear Lake. It's going to be called Big Poop Lake. But I assure you guys, the water is going to be cleaner than if it came, came down from the sky because I think they use reverse osmosis to completely sanitize everything. And that's gonna be a good way to uh, to keep our lake full. I'm excited. And we're, we just passed where that eagle, the big bear eagle likes or lives and chills. That's very cool. I hope some of you have seen that. I've only watched it for maybe 30 seconds in the, all the years that I've that I've lived here. I'm, I'm surprised I haven't, I haven't seen it more.
Anyway, guys, once again, we are in Fonskin. Do not blink. The bomb cyclone aftermath, you guys. I mean, since, since that's what the video is, like, I just... I just hope you guys aren't expecting when you see the bomb cyclone aftermath, expecting to see like feet of snow or any snow actually, except for straight ahead on the top of San Gorgonio. It looks deep up there. I mean, it looks deep. Oh my gosh, I love it. So everybody, for those of the one of you who has stuck through this long in the video, how are you today? How the heck are you today? Are you having a beautiful day? Question mark. <laughs> wow, I just said that as if I'm doing voice texting. That is so funny. Yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, those of you who got hammered with, with, with rain, which was a lot of us, a lot of you guys, we didn't really get that, that much, but... I hope you guys uh, don't have any damage or flooding or property damage, stuff like that. Hope everyone's okay. Um, we did need it big time. I heard like uh, Lake Vacaville or Lake something, uh, somethingville, Lake somethingville, uh, just south of Mammoth Lakes, I believe, uh, gained like 20 something feet in its... Uh, in the in the lake level so that's fantastic you guys that is so fantastic that is so fantastic once again i just hope all of you stayed safe and had a great time and enjoyed the beautiful weather i consider it beautiful it's so so rare compared well the reason why i say that that the rain and stuff is rare is because guys we we get over 300 days of sunshine up here every year over 300 days every year of sunshine so when there's 365 days of the year yeah it is kind of an anomaly for us to <laughs> to get rain not necessarily an anomaly but you guys know what i'm saying half of you are like no we really don't you don't make any sense nick but oh my gosh look at that look at snow summit zoom in that San Gorgonio look at the very top left look at how thick white it is up there just insane yo and guys that white building right there straight ahead there that is the solar observatory guys that's where you look at the sun through a microscope or through uh yeah through a telescope through through a microscope oh geez Nick oh geez oh geez you guys seriously though all the comments are just amazing. You guys really have changed my life. And I wake up every day not completely miserable anymore. I wake up like knowing that I have you guys in, in my life and it, it just makes me so happy. And the amount of time that you guys spend to leave me nice comments and stuff, it means the world to me, you guys. And as I said, don't, don't worry about me not having that many subscribers you guys like I love doing this because I love getting comments from you guys and being able to, com to communicate with you guys that is a total accidental gift that came out of all of this that I never realized that it was going to be such an impact and not only is it such an impact but it's the most important part of this whole whole channel is my relationship with you guys so thank you guys so dang much um, as, as I said, I, I apologize. I don't have a lot of subscribers. I, I apologize that I never ask you guys to hit like or anything like that. Or, But I, I never want you guys to like feel like I'm ever selling out when it comes to this channel. Like, I love doing this and it feels so much more free when I'm not constantly asking you guys to subscribe and hit the like button, hit the notification bell and stuff. Um, 
yeah guys this is a passion of mine and I'm gonna do it either way so just so you guys know thank you for always trying to be there for me and literally always being there for me you guys are my brothers and sisters a million percent and I am so lucky to have you all thank you thank you thank you I'll wait to get my snow tires on right before we get snow. If I can avoid wasting the tread on those things as much as possible, then that's what I shall do, is avoid the wasting of tread. Look at Snow Summit, yo. That is so cool, man. Here is the Big Bear Discovery Center, folks. San Bernardino National Forest. And then right here, right along this part of the road, on this, where I'm pointing, there is a walking path called the Pedal Path, you guys. And it goes from Stanfield Cutoff all the way through this area. And then you can cross underneath the road, or no, cross this road and then go to this side and hike up that way. It's a really neat path. And it's over by that big chunk of trees. The views are absolutely incredible. I mean, guys, look at that. You, you, you can see the path right there. And it goes, I think, for two miles or something, you guys. It's so beautiful. Um, it's the only path that I've actually, sec no, the second path that I've hiked on up here. And I've lived here for seven years, guys, and I've only hiked uh, twice, and it wasn't much of a hike either time. Give it to me, baby. They look to the left, that's Bear Mountain, guys, and to the right, that is Snow Summit, baby. Snow Summit, baby. Yeah, yeah. We got the snow in the summit, baby. And I hope you guys realize, man. When we get snow, I'm gonna be out here like crazy. If you guys look at my videos from many years ago, or all my videos, you'll see that when we get good storms, guys, I'll update every time there's any change. If it gets heavier, I update. If it gets less, I update. I love it, guys, I love it. And, be, and knowing that I'm helping you guys so means the world to me. I really hope you guys are enjoying how beautiful this is. You guys are seeing such a clear day. It's unbelievable. I mean, look at Snow Summit. Seriously, though. I mean, come on, you guys. How beautiful is that? And then, yeah, here we go. I don't know. There's an uh, officer of the law. An officer of the law. All right, we're gonna park this video for a second. But yeah, this is another little place to go uh, camping, I think. Camping and cooking and chilling and enjoying your family. Hang on, guys. I'm gonna shut us off here just for a second. <laughs> I love you guys so much. All right, you guys. This is what we got going. We are headed back to the Moon Ridge area. You know what, though? We're going to drive up by Bear Mountain um, because I know there will be a little more snow, and we'll get out and touch some of it. So that's going to be our closest chance to get some decent snow. Thanks, brother. Yeah, I'm going. You too. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Hey, everybody. How's everybody doing today? I hope you all are good. Here's a school, guys. Look at all the little kitty kids. All right, this is the view. This is Stanfield Cutoff. 
This is incredible. And then when we look the other way, that's Baldwin Lake area out there. Look at how clear that view is. You can see forever. I mean, guys, I can see things that I can't normally see out this direction. I am so impressed with this view. And we're gonna take the shortcut into Moonridge, guys. So instead of taking Big Bear Boulevard here to the right, we're gonna stay straight and take Stanfield Cutoff until we get to Fox Farm Road and then go from there. So let me shut it down at this light. Okay, we made it, we're going through the light. Yee-hoo! All right, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, start your engine. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, start your engine, please. All right, so this is these are some massive homes in here. The Glen Ellen Estates, or not Glen Ellen, Glen, <laughs> Glen Gary and Glen Ross. No, Glen, yeah, Glen Gary and, wait, oh my gosh, what's that movie called? Glen Gary, Glen Ross? Gary Glen, Gary Ross. Anyway, uh, we are driving through a nice little part of town. Over here to the right, we have the World Mark by Windham, the Windham Resorts. This is a, a popular spot. We haven't stayed here yet. We are going to, though. That's it. It's a huge property. And in the middle of the property, there's somebody's huge, huge mansion. Um, I, I, it's, it's, it's on the property of a huge resort. So I, I never knew that this mansion was there. But when I go to that resort once in a while to to work, um, my goodness, I'm telling you, it's it's incredible to see that house. Um, it's like it sticks out of no, it's 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 like it shouldn't be there. It's like the only residential property on that whole entire area. And it's in the middle of the damn place. It's really, really beautiful though, you guys, really beautiful. And right now we're on a road which is called Fox Farm. And Fox Farm, if we, if, if, if we stay on this, it's gonna turn into McAllister, which we are staying on this, and then McAllister is going to turn into, um, I believe it's called Cougar, or Sonoma, but I'm pretty sure it's called Cougar. Guys, there's, I mean, there really are a lot of little, just really cute houses up here. There really are. But since I'm always driving, I don't think I've ever been a passenger but one time up here in seven years. I'm always just watching the road and trying to not crash. So when I'm able to drive this slow like this, or and, and slower, it's really nice because I get to, you know, do the quintessential smelling the roses, which is very important, guys. Very important. take this down to the bottom and then cut over towards Bear Mountain from that direction I think you guys will be stoked I think you will it should be gorgeous up up where we're going so I'm really looking forward to that and my phone's gonna overheat guys unbelievable I can't believe it I can't believe it Okay, straight ahead, that snow, straight ahead on the mountain, that's Snow Summit. That is Snow Summit Ski Resort, my my fellows and fellas. My peeps, I love my peeps. Even the haters, because I know I'm doing something right when it's the same couple people who've created multiple accounts to stock this damn channel and leave me thumbs down. It's unbelievable, um, but it's really flattering, you guys. <laughs> like, I know it's weird weird to say, but like, like, I, like they, I get a kick out of mean people having to waste their time and get nowhere. Like, dude, even if everyone put a thumbs down, it doesn't matter, like, it really doesn't matter. Like, it's, it's, but that's why I don't 
I don't talk talk much about it because I don't want them to stop. <laughs> I want them to keep on doing it because it just it feels good for me to know that that mean people are suffering, thinking they're like doing something to hurt others, but in the big scheme of things, they're just completely wasting their time. I mean, I have like there's no goal to, to make a business out of this uh, YouTube channel. So, but yeah. So I once again, I love you guys. Thank you for always sticking up for me. Um, I can't even, seriously, I, it's so hard to even put into words what you guys mean to me. And I try all the time. Look at this freaking view. Are you absolutely kidding me? Guys, I need to just stop here for a second. Hang on a second. There's no one behind me. Take the picture outside the damn window. Just spectacular. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So here's the zoo. This is the parking lot for the zoo, but look at all the, look at how colorful all these trees are and everything. Yeah, and I, I gotta point the camera out the window because of the glare. Look at this, guys, oh my gosh. Just marvelous, you guys, that is just sick. got these beautiful houses on this side that overlook the golf course and have this beautiful view of the mountains look at that are you kidding me guys I mean for real I mean for real no nah, it can't be done nah, it can't be done come on doc guys I'm in love with my my new hometown I really am I've been here seven years so I guess it's not too new but it still feels like it's new to, new to me. All right, look at how beautiful these trees are. It didn't seem like they were this color just a week ago, did it, guys? I thought we were up. Oh, look, snow, look, <laughs> snow. See, 200 feet up, guys. It's obviously this snow stuck around because it's in a completely shaded area, but my goodness. That is so cool how all of it worked out. Bear Mountain straight ahead. That's where we're going, guys. We're gonna go find some snow right now. This is snow cool. So where we're going right now, there should be a decent amount, but the sun shines really heavy right where we're going. So I'm hoping there's some snow left. But we're just going to the top to the employee lot up here. It's not like an employee parking lot. It's where the employees who work up here, um, who do like this, the snow making and, and uh, lessons and stuff, a lot of them will end up parking up here so they can use, uh, be closer to the equipment that they have to do. Look at, dude, they're getting all the snow machines ready. Look at the dude right there. Look at all these guys, man. This is Bear Mountain, folks. Wow, guys. Wow, wow, wow. So... drive through here but we're not going to I don't want to get in trouble I have a decent reputation up here except for with a couple people who are complete just kooks and so that's okay uh, Kevin the horse faced one let's see here look at 
man. The lifts are running. Look, you guys see that? The lifts running. And I did find some snow right here. We're gonna go to. Well, we're gonna walk out here for a second, guys. So I know we're uh, walking onto private property, but we're, we're gonna go across here to get some stuff on the ski resort, guys. And this is one of my favorite runs right here, coming down here. I always come down this side right here, and then boom, straight on down. What a beautiful place, guys. And then right here behind this fence is a reservoir that they suck water from the lake up here to use for uh, snow making. Yeah, guys, look, there's some snow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is so cool. I'm gonna just walk out onto this little landing spot here just to see. Get this view down there. Man, this is gorgeous, guys. What a day. What a day. What a day. And if we turn around, there's a lot more snow on the runs going up higher. But how cool is that, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome sauce. So yeah, we got to play with a little bit of snare, 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 with some snare, snare, and we're good. All right, so we got to use the restroom, and unfortunately there's some guy right there, so I can't use the restroom. And there's a bird right there, I can't use the restroom. All right, folks. Okie dokie. This is gorgeous, guys. We are very lucky to be up here. I am very lucky to be up here. And then look, there's a little bit of the lake you can see. Right there. Can you guys see it? So, let me see what elevation we're at. Hang on, let me go to my altitude. Right here, guys, we're at 7,270 feet on the dot. Guys, it's so clear today, Bear Mountain looks tiny because I can see everything. That's awesome. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying it and getting to see how beautiful our town looks. Oh yeah. Oh freaking yeah, guys. Let's see these guys right here. Hey guys, how you fellas doing? Guys, this is a lot of work that these guys do, man. And it's these guys right here who make it. So you guys have a awesome time up here. They make the snow exactly how it should be for the conditions uh, that they're creating it for. It's so cool, the science behind it, guys. They can add significant moisture to it to have it a more humid, wet snow, or they can, they can make it like a Rocky Mountain champagne powder. It's amazing what, what they can do. So yeah, so we're gonna make a raft here. We're gonna make a raft. Hey, hey there, buddy, how you doing? I mean, hey, how you gonna? We're just gonna pull over here and just get a nice little view of Bear Mountain from the front so you guys can see what the heck is going on. So this whole thing on the top left there, all the way over here, that's all Bear Mountain. And then where I'm zooming in right here, that's where the snowboard park is. And it's a world famous snowboard park, you guys. And then one of my favorite golf courses is right here. Look at that. I mean, guys, really? I mean, really? Anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Wow, I love this. I love you all, but I really love this. About uh, one tenth of as much as I love you guys, though. Oh, look at that. Look at those views right there. 
What's up, bear? Hang tight. make like Tom and Cruise. I know I'm very lame always saying that, but it is me. I am the lame one. Lame skis. Man, look at how yellow these trees are. It's so pretty. Oh my God. They look like aspen trees, guys. I think those are aspens. I'm probably totally wrong. I think that those are way taller to be, way taller than an aspen is, but I think those are aspens. One of my old best friends used to live in there. He and his wife, unfortunately, are, are getting a divorce, but he just told me that that uh, that they've been talking and she wants to get back together maybe, and that would be so happy for me to see them get back together. They're such nice people. I, yeah, they're such nice people. You guys, seriously, like, the few, the very few people that I hang out with up here and uh, will not hang out with but uh, associate with are just the best of the best you guys just the most wonderful selfless full of love and care type of freaking people that's who i hang out with up here and it's not that it's yeah i i don't i don't need a bunch of people i cherish the little time i get with like one or two people once in a while up here and that's it I don't have many friends up here. But I'm happy, happier with just a couple wonderful people in my life up here. And I think another thing that makes it really easy for me is knowing that I have you guys. Seriously, like, <laughs> you guys are everything to me. So I'm very lucky that I have you guys in my life. But I think part of my just uh, not finding too too many uh, just awesomeness up here, too much awesomeness, uh, it's been difficult. Let's just put it that way. Just people nice to your face, and then when you're not there, they talk smack. I don't like that stuff. And here's a cop. I gotta shut this off for a second. Okay, we just made the left turn right there. I'm hoping I'm not gonna be followed. Well, we're on Moon Ridge Road right now, you guys. And I uh, wanna thank you guys again for being a part of this channel. You guys are very important to me. You guys mean the world to me. Um, I always want you guys to be happy, healthy, loved, and just uh, thank you again for the kind words, everything you guys do for me. I love you guys so much, and I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to keep on growing my relationship with you guys. Um, you guys are everything to me. I love you guys very much. Thank you. Thank you for everything, and I really wish you the very best of the best of the best always. You take care, and thank you again, guys. It's October 26, 2021, in the Big Bear Lake, California area. We just drove through Fonskin, and... Yeah, we had a nice little aftermath video. We didn't do the whole town because uh, of the Big Bear snow rule. We got a lot, we, we got plenty of the town. So anyway, I love you all. Thank you again, and I will talk to you guys later. It's gonna be a while though, you guys, I'm really sad because there's, there's no weather. Even on the two week forecast, nothing. So I'm not going to be seeing you guys for a, a minute. I hope you guys leave me a ton of comments so I can at least have something I can do to, feel, to be affiliated with you guys and to communicate with you guys. I love you guys. Thank you. You guys have a beautiful rest of your day.